Hi everybody, welcome back to our ranch adventures. Tony is out of town this week on business, so it's just Corey and I left to our own devices, which sometimes isn't safe. So, what are we doing today? We are uh, doing a DIY deer feeder out of a 50 gallon drum. 55 gallon drum. 55 gallon drum. So this is a drum that I bought off Marketplace for $15. It had apple juice concentrate in it. It's got the uh, the lid where the whole top comes off. I forgot it over here. The whole lid and then it's got the ring uh, to easily pull it. Uh, I've got a funnel to go inside to funnel everything down to the center. I've got a leg kit here by Moultrie. We've got a uh, solar charger and here is our uh, digital feeder, six volt control. Did I mention the battery yet? Not yet. And the battery to go with the rechargeable battery. So after I bought everything, I spent about $225 all in on this. I could have bought one with the barrel and everything for $199 at our local academy store. And this one's metal enclosed. We've got this on another feeder and it's been a great unit. So I wanted a little higher quality. So we spent a little bit more to have one that I think will last us longer. The squirrels will chew through the plastic ones and they just, they don't last near as long as the metal housing does. So the first thing that we need to do is we've got our barrel flipped upside down here. We need to find the center of this barrel and we just uh, went to YouTube University and figured out some tricks on how to do that. So we're going to see how bad we can screw that up. I mean, make that work and uh, see if we can't find the center of this barrel to determine where to punch our hole. And what size was that, Corey? That's a two and a half inch hole saw bit that we're gonna use to drill a hole in the bottom. What that will do will allow this nipple to go down through. And then there's a little cup that goes inside here. It actually goes on the very bottom to funnel the corn right down on top of this spinner. So we're gonna get started with trying to uh, mark where the center of this barrel is. So what we're going to do here is we've got a square and what we saw on YouTube was just to find any point we're going to draw a line across here would be the same point. I've got a short square. My long one is out at the property. This is 12 inches long so I need to find the 6 inch mark which is going to be right there. Put a mark there and then we're going to come at almost 90 degrees here. We're going to do another mark just like we did before. We're also going to mark that at the halfway point, which is six inches because it's 12 inches long. And that should be? Right, so that should be the center right here. Next, we're going to use the drill with the hole saw. And we're going to do it right through the center of that and cut out our uh, spot where our funnel's going to feed into. Or where our funnel cut off of our feeder kit will get attached to out here. So we had to try several different methods to put the hole in the bottom of the barrel. Uh, it proved to be a harder task than we had anticipated. We switched out the bits here thinking that maybe the first bit was just dull. We were wrong. I think the bits were just junk, but Corey gave it a shot just to make sure it wasn't user error. Well, we had some troubles with the other drill. He just wasn't doing it. And this, this barrel's giving us a little bit of, it's fighting back. So we upgraded to the big boy drill, the electric, and see if that'll punch it through. Ah! 
Right here, it looks like we were playing rock, paper, scissors, but we were really discussing strategy on what our next try would be. So the drill bit is failing us. It just, they're cheap. They won't cut through this metal and it's just wildering out the hole. We're gonna try a grinder now and see if we can't tear something up this way. So we were done messing around and decided to get this hole cut. We used a grinder. We made an X cutting a hole with the cutoff blade on the grinder. Once we cut through the metal in the X shape, we took the four quarters that were remaining, bent those up with pliers and used the grinder to cut those pieces off, which gave us our opening. Well, we cut a hole. I'm not sure how round it is. Uh -oh. they, they're tight. So once it goes in, it's not coming out, right? Yeah. All right. So the funnel on these things, they're a tight fit. So it's it's got a solution. Put the bat right there in the center, and then we'll hammer it in. So I'm gonna put it in a little bit sideways, <laughs> and then see if we can. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna work out. So we had to trim the edges of the funnel so we could get it in, but it's all the way in down. There's a flange that'll go over this side to clear, cover it up. But uh, you can see the funnel's in there. We did have to trim the edge all the way around, but this will work just fine the way it is. We are running out of light, so I think we're gonna have to shut it down for tonight. We've got this little funnel that needs to go in on the bottom. And I've got some self-tapping screws. And this, what's, this is what directs the corn down on the little spinning blades on the thrower so that it disperses the corn. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. That's what's gonna feed it into your feeder spinner, your spinner plate is that. Push that funnel. 
Still lined up? Yes, sir. So next step, we uh, got to get our spare plate and battery housing and all that. We're going to attach that. So there's a couple little nuts in here. And like it, it's nice. It comes with the good directions to do that. All you'll need. I'm using just a crescent wrench. And then a 11 millimeter socket. So just making sure everything's nice and tight on there. Now that we got those on there, so your bolt goes on from the inside, then you have a lock nut that'll go on it. So on the leg, it's going to be washer, and then your wing nut, and this is how you're going to adjust your elevation. And uh, we'll show you that once we get it set up about the distance that you want from your feeder funnel to your spinner plate. But this is how you'll adjust that is with these wing nuts. Depending on how you did your feeder, if you've already attached a solar panel or anything like that, it'll depend on which way you kind of want your feeder box. But we don't really have anything on it yet, so it doesn't really matter which way we mount the opening of our uh, housing compartment for a battery and timer and such. Center that right. Yep. I'm probably doing. What do you think? Half an inch? Sure. That looks like half an inch to you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing about half an inch. Half, gets, half to a three quarter. Half to three quarter, just because you don't want it too close to where you're going to be jamming up. Because uh, you can get corn in there, and if it's close enough, it'll get caught in between your funnel. I'll give it enough to where it's not just pouring out and giving it plenty of room to just spill everywhere. But then there's one last wing nut in here that you can uh, take, and that'll be our locking mechanism to hold our door shut on this. So we got one last thing to install on there. Heads up, you ready? Yep. And so for our battery housing and for our solar panel, we're using Game Winner right here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where your solar panel is gonna go in. feeding in our uh, hook up our alligator snaps into the box which it is not cut yet so luckily we got some scissors here alrighty now we should be able to get our alligator snaps in there alligator clips alligator clips your other thingamabob. Already forgot the name. Strain relief. Strain relief thing. And that you'll tighten down on the inside. So you have one on the inside and one on the outside of your housing box. At this stage of the game, we are connecting the solar panel to the outside of the barrel. That was just a quick two holes and some self-tapping screws. And then we use the occluded bolts to connect the actual solar panel to the bracket that we just attached with the self-tapping screws. All right, what's next, Chief? Uh, next, 
Well, I mean, right now we don't have to worry about putting battery in or timer. So next would be legs. Can't just set this on the ground, you gotta have it up above. So we're gonna try out the Moultrie leg bracket kit here. First impression, these brackets feel pretty pretty good. They don't seem super cheap or anything there. What do you think? All right, yeah. Yeah, seem they seem like stout. they got some stoutness to them. All right, so for our leg brackets, we got three of them. We're gonna get a circumference measurement, divide it by three, and get those three measurements so we can uh, get our leg brackets on nice and evenly spaced around our uh, drum here. Well, obviously, a uh, not a metal measuring tape would work a lot better for a more accurate, but... 70 inches. About three equals 23.3. Just gonna do our legs a little bit further up on the barrel. I've seen them down here, but I feel like that just makes your barrel top heavy and puts a little bit more strain on the legs. We mark it down there. So this will give us a rough idea, and then you want to mark the hole? Yep. Right here, just about center. These don't have to be perfect, just very approximate. I've got my uh, hole punch so I can get this started. Well, here we go. Completed 55 gallon drum deer feeder. Equipped with the solar panel. We've got our six volt battery box. I feel like six volt does the job. Uh, I don't really see so we've the got, need for- So we've got six volt. more leg sections too, so it can go up two more two foot lengths. So we can add another four feet total up. And overall, building it, had a couple complications with it, but not terrible. Uh, Dad, how about you step in here? Tell me what you think. Would you rather build your own or buy? So I think uh, for what we got, we got a much better quality uh, feeder than we would if we would have just bought this style of feeder. There we go. So thanks for watching. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. And as always, go have an adventure of your own. Bye.